Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining us up in here where we try and have some outboard fun, some boat fun, and stuff like that. Um, well, <clears throat> this little 7.5 horsepower Suzuki, I don't know. Um, been a day or two since I messed with it, but I'm going to try and mess with it some more. And um, it's got me, it's one of them there head scratchers. Got me scratching the old noggin because I just can't seem, well, the chips. The chips. Let the chips fall where they may. Um, I'm not sure, but I think at one point I had spark on both cylinders. And then I was messing with some other things, looking at the wiring, seeing if I could notice a cut or corroded wire or something but I didn't really change anything I didn't really you know do anything other than pull it over and, and see if I could get it to pop with a little start us fluid and uh, nope and then I said well let me check the spark on this thing again so I grounded both spark plugs and I only had spark on one cylinder and I didn't mess with the chips. I didn't mess with the stuff under the flywheel. But I popped the flywheel off there again and looked and everything was hooked up just like it was supposed to be. But on the one cylinder, the top cylinder, I didn't have any spark. So I said, huh. Well, I had a whole bag of these chips laying here, so I grabbed another chip real quick and zipped out the screws, zipped in the, on the new chip right there and twisted the wires, boom, I had spark back. So that chip, which was brand new, quit working. Those chips are $14. So I said, could it, I mean, just pulling it over, trying to start it, fry the thing or whatever? So I rehooked back up that chip, and sure enough, no spark. So I thought, well, maybe. Now keep in mind, when I put the second chip on there, the new one, I had, I got spark back. So apparently, I fried a brand new chip somehow. So I'm not sure if I want to sit here and uh, <laughs> keep frying $14 little Nova chips that I do use on lawnmowers, chainsaws, and stuff like that, mostly single cylinder engines, I, I use them successfully on that, that stuff. Um, I've taken a lot of old steel 31, 32 chainsaws that had parents and put those chips on, you know, replace the points with the chip and works fine. In fact, I, I, one of mine uh, has a chip on it and it's been working for years. So, it's got me a little puzzled that why the two cylinders seem to have a problem with the Nova chips. But I have, it's up around under the storage behind my house, I have an old 57 Johnson 5-in-1 uh, half. And it's got those chips on it. And, no, let me back up. It has the original Australian-made plastic chips on it. They're called Atom chips back in the day. And they made different colors of these Atom chips. They were plastic, made out of Australia, and they had a particular chip, and I want to say it was the red one. It was it said specifically on the instructions for two cylinder outboard motors. Keep in mind back then um, mass produced there were no 
to speak of four cycle motors when these Australian Atom chips were available. But I've had those Atom chips, the two red ones, that on the back of the package says this is what you use, the red ones, for the two cylinder, two cycle outboards. I've had them things on there for years and it, I, I could bring it around up here. I'm sure I might have to clean the carburetor a little bit or whatever, but it'll start, it'll have spark. So these Nova chips don't work, in my opinion, in the way that the old Atom chips did. And uh, hang on just a second. I think I showed you this in last video, but I can't be sure that I did. But I have a pack of the original Australian ones. That's what they look like. And these are the reddish orange ones. I think it, they call it red. I don't think there is an orange. But right here on the back, it says Module 215 Red fits two cylinder outboard motors using one module per cylinder. Not for engines with battery generated flywheels. Says it will also work on a single cylinder outboard with throttle connected ignition timing for outboards with fixed ignition timing. No, let me read that. Period. For outboards with fixed ignition timing, refer to Module 7. Module 7, purple. Fits outboard motors with ignition, fixed ignition timing. I don't think you're going to be able to read this, but maybe you can. But that's where it says it, right on the back. Right here where my finger is, is Module 215 red for two cylinder outboards. These things work. And then there's a diagram on the back shows you how to disconnect the points and hook them up. They haven't been available for a long time, but if you see, this is the one specific to outboards, and they've got the pictures of the different outboards. These work. Now, these little Nova chips. And I have lots of them too. I've actually got two packs of these original Atom chips. That, in my opinion, and I would love somebody to prove me wrong. I would love somebody who has played with these maybe more than I have to, to, to go, well, here's what you're doing wrong. These Nova chips will work. This is not this, in my opinion. Like I said, I've, I've put these on several outboards when they were available and they worked. These, they, they seem to, for whatever reason, short out and lose spark. I don't know why. But I wish they still made these. Um, like, like I said, if you've got more experience with them than me, and I will admit, over the years, these earlier two-cycle um, Suzuki's, they, they have an, uh, an odd. I even read about it on the CDI Electronics um, troubleshooting uh, website a couple years back. And at that time, I kind of figured out what was going on. They have a, a higher voltage system. Just something is different with these Suzuki's. And wh what I'm comparing that to is the older OMC points outboards. Um, for one, if you look at the coil system on this Suzuki, it's not like the OMC, the old OMC that these Atom chips work on were the kind where you pull off the flywheel and there are the two green or brown or, you know, coils. Um, they have the, the plastic bakelite or whatever 
and they're right there. These have externally mounted coils. Now OMC did that with a fixed ignition for a few years too. And I don't know that I ever tried the ignition chip, the Nova chips, on one of those outboards. But the outboards from the 50s, 60s, that had the two big coils mounted under the flywheel with the points and condenser, and then the, the high tension leads, spark plug wires came to the plugs. Those Atom chips worked fine. And I thought I have a video of me doing a little OMC four horse, I think it was, but it was twin cylinder, and I got the Nova chips to work. In fact, I think I still have the engine, so I may go around up under my storage and look at that. Um, but it was the type I'm talking about. It had both of the old coils. A lot of times you'll pull off the flywheels, and those old, if they're original, the coils will have this tea-colored plastic, and they'll be all cracked and everything. Um, and then in a few years later, they came out with the nice, real plastic ones that were typically green, like green, um, sometimes brown. But uh, it don't seem to work on this. The Nova chips don't seem to work on this type that has that lightering coil and everything under the flywheel and then the externally mounted coils. It don't seem to work to me. So I'm at a point, parent, with this engine where I'll probably have to get points for it if I can find them. So I'm going to mess with it some more. We're going to dig around in it a little more in this video. and then, um, But that's kind of where I'm thinking it's going. So let's get to it and see. Okay, I want to show you this. All right, I was pulling it over, and it pulled over a couple times. I had the recoil on here. Now look. And I can stick something in that cylinder, and it almost feels like this top cylinder is banging on something, like something's been dropped down in there. Uh, and it, there, it just, there's something wrong internally in this motor, I believe. Okay, well, um, I think I kind of know where I'm at with this motor right now. Um, after tinkering with it some more, I think I, I know where I'm going to stand with this little guy. And if you want to know where it is, I'll show you. I'll show you.
Well, there it is. The next victim. This one looks mm, abused. <laughs> um, goodness, goodness. He bought a new spring. Uh, that's part of the broken hood latch. Back here is your safety interlock. Other than that, And this, this is the don't let it go in the ocean rope, better than nothing. It's got it actually spliced on there. There's my man overboard. My recoil. She does turn over. Got good, feels like it's got good compression. Well, it's in, isn't, yeah, but it's in here. Now we're neutral. We're in neutral? Yeah. Not a bad little kicker, mostly recoil crap. Which, by the way, CPS, CPC, plastic, cheap plastic stuff. Let's see. Oh, it's nice and free there. Here she seems to work. Choke. Man. This is, let's see, this is a 1996, an ED, EDS for short shaft, S. So, Yeah, it's a 96. Needs a bath real bad. And Just some TLC. But it looks mostly complete and everything. So, we're going to get on this one. Because I've actually had a couple people stop in looking for short shafts small. And that, that fits that bill. Eight horse, short shaft. Lightweight two-stroker. See what we can do with it. Oh, man. That is good. Oh, I'm sorry, Fred. Didn't mean to block your view. He says he's handsome and everybody wants to see him. Whatever you say, Fred. Well... Um, the little seven perk five. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Um, it looks like the best route to go with it would be points and condenser if I can even find them. I haven't even looked, but overall, it's in bad shape. So, what I think I'm gonna do is give it a temporary retirement to the bone pile. You understand? And then, when and if I get another one of similar vintage and year, I'll see if I can get a good one out of two. Um, I won't, I'm not going to part it out per se. I'm just going to wait. And you like, well, how do you know one going to come in that's even close to that? They'll come. It will come.
They always do. You understand? But I got this little 8 per 0. That's what it says on there. I'll show you the hood. It don't say 8. It don't say 8 HP. It says 8 per 0. So I'm going to call it like I see it. Um, well, as you saw, it's not real bad. Um, mostly recoil. I mean, we, we haven't done a fax check yet, so we don't know um, if there's a lot more to it than just the recoil. A lot of times when you see an engine, and this is if you're, again, out at that yard sale or what that flea market, and you see that, that cheap outboard, and the recoil is all destroyed like this one. What that can often, and there's another telltale sign on this one, I didn't print out. It's got brand new, I mean you can tell, brand new spark plugs. So you've got brand new spark plugs, you've got a recoil that's just destroyed. Not a little bit, not just a broken cord, but I mean it's destroyed. Pulled it until it just flew apart. That's an indication, and we'll find out with this one. That's an indication something bigger than that recoil was the problem. The problem caused the recoil to be in the condition it's in. Pull and pull and pull and pull. Stardust fluid and pull and pull and pull and pull new spark plugs and pull and pull you get the picture so when I see one like this at a yard sale it's got the brand new spark plugs the recoils all destroyed take a look at the recoil cord itself like that look at the cord itself and if it's all frayed until it parted There's probably something else going on. So, those are things to look out for when you're out at that flea market at that yard sale. This one has some symptoms that are uh, making me a little mm, uneasy, shall we say. So, we got this one in here, and uh, I've just been busy as can be doing get, getting ready for an Alaskan winter. It's, what I have to do. Uh, put up food, fish, clean up, get everything that's going to be frozen and busted and tore up, squared away. But in between it all and what little good weather we get, I'm trying to get some outboard stuff done. So this one might be getting a little bit long and we might not have found a successful hack in there, but at least before you go spending a lot of money on them Nova chips, Nova what you're getting into. <laughs> anyway, me and Fret going to call this one done. And uh, that's going to be one more hack from Kodiak. And as always, thank you for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.